Ah, oh, g'day, hey Ron here. Now, I promised you a review on the Bosha Mundial Carbone Fins. Well, I've had a few distractions, I do apologise, but if you stick with me, I've done an in-depth review on these fins, and I think it'll be worth the wait. Now, before I even talk anything about the blade, I want to cover the foot pocket first. This foot pocket has been in production for years, and that's not entirely an accident. They've been very successful for Bosha, and uh, they fit a lot of different people. They are very durable, and I know this firsthand because these foot pockets we use a lot when I was commercially diving for sea urchin. And if it's one environment that definitely puts a product to a test is a commercial diving in. Just running through them, as in many other foot pockets, there's two compounds. You've got the soft compound all around the actual foot area, and as it goes to the rubber fingers, a slightly slightly harder rubber there now they've got the little clips here that hold the um, blade in place but they do have a reputation for falling off but this isn't a real issue uh, when I was commercially diving uh, we were nearly all wearing bow shards and these clips would fall off within the first couple of days of diving the finger wouldn't come away from the blade so it looked not as pretty but that's about the only downfall. Now, although the uh, Bosha fits quite a few people, it doesn't fit everybody, and that's that will always be an issue. We will never really find the perfect foot pocket that fits all people. Size 12 to 13, or 47 to 48, this is their biggest foot pocket, and I definitely know of several divers that have got bigger feet than me. So. That is a downfall, they don't have any bigger foot pocket at this stage. I do know some of the other brands do go to a slightly bigger size. Although the blade is removable, if you wanted to fit just, for example, a Picasso foot pocket to this carbon blade uh, without getting out uh, your tools and glues and all sorts of freaky stuff like that, they will not slide straight into any other foot pocket that I know of. And um, yeah, so Boshar blades and Boshar pockets only really go with each other. So yeah, that's that's the foot pocket. Moving on to the blade. Now, dimensionally speaking, this blade is the same size as the standard thermoplastic blade, like the um, Boshar competition blade or the sport blade, and same length, you know, same width. However, the thermoplastic blades at this stage do not have this little rubber fin here and this is a uh, adaptation from the earlier model of the carbon blades the earlier model although it did have a rubber edge to protect the blade it didn't have these little fins here and now these fins have been put on this fin to uh, or put on this blade to improve the the driving force of the water into the right direction. So instead of the water just falling off the side of the blade, these little runners here sort of encourage that water to go in that direction, giving you more thrust forward. And I have tried the early model. You just feel a little bit more power coming from these fins for the same amount of energy putting in. Noise? Noise, I would say, pretty much as quiet as a plastic blade. I have had some composite blades which admittedly did not have the little angle in the uh, ankle there and the heel and they were very noisy just the nature of how those fins worked in the water. This one is not like that at all. These are yeah like I say as quiet as a plastic blade. Uh, weight, weight is good. Weight is minimal. These guys in the water I would still say that they're a fraction heavier than a plastic blade, but definitely not as heavy that you are when you're breathing up that you feel your fins pulling you down backwards. And I find that really irritating. Performance. Everybody wants to know about performance, and I'm happy to say that in a nutshell they are good. Well I guess you want more detail than that. <clears throat> In the past when I've used a plastic blade, although a plastic blade, like for example, the uh, competition blade that goes in here, 
it is a perfectly fine blade. But you do find in your kick stroke that there's a sort of a, a sweet spot for the blade when it's really pushing out its power. And it's kind of right on the, when you're putting your most effort into the stroke, you feel a real forward driving force. But then as soon as you're switching over your blades, there's a bit of a dead spot there where they're not pushing you forward as well. And that's where these really pay off. It's a very constant power all the time. That is a very good thing about these things. I've used the plastic version. I have used other composite blades. And I definitely find with this one, after a full day's diving, you are still tired, but the legs feel a lot better. And, um, and I think as much as we all are looking for a fin that makes us go another knot quicker in the water, I think that how we feel at the end of the day with a fin is very important. Who would be the ideal customer for these fins? If you're a person that has trouble with your legs, and in my case one of my knees is um, you know, not what it used to be, it was a real joy to put on a fin, dive all day, get back in the boat, and uh, not have a sore leg, which I normally do have with my standard fins, without compromising any power. And that was the other great thing. I have a softer blade, or should I say an easier blade to use, and still get that drive. All right, there you have it, the Bosha Mundial Carbon. Please subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. If there's anything that I missed out, don't hesitate to say so. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.